For the first time in Minecraft's history, the Minecraft Bedrock Edition community is included in Mojang's April Fool's joke. This is the Poisonous Potatoes add-on, and it is completely free to download. So this works for Minecraft on iOS, Android, Windows, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. You can apply this to brand new worlds, or in fact, your pre-existing ones. It's not quite the potato dimension with our very own Mega Spud Potato Boss, but for the first time in a decade, Minecraft Bedrock Edition players are now included in April Fools. When joining for the first time, you'll be given a poisonous potato. You'll also be given the poisonous potato guide. Poisonous potato, the add-on by Jigarbuff Productions. So what is the poisonous potato add-on? Poisonous potato is an add-on that gives the poisonous potato the love and respect it deserves. What's in it? Furniture, weapons, food, blocks, and more poisonous potato recipes. Then you can throw a poisonous potato at. Grow one, then put it in a crafting table and get crafting. I think we all know how to get a poisonous potato. But in case you don't, here's what you can do. Use a hoe on some dirt. Make sure you have some water nearby. Plant a potato. When it's fully grown, you can harvest it and you have a rare chance of harvesting a poisonous potato. Can you at least give me one crafting recipe? Sure. How about a baked poisonous potato? Just throw a poisonous potato into a furnace and watch it cook. Yum. So let's go and find ourselves some poisonous potatoes. In this world, I saved many. So we are going to grab all of these. We need to find ourselves a furnace. For the first time ever, players are now able to cook poisonous potatoes into baked poisonous potatoes. But what does this give you? It gives you special effects. Now, I'm curious if they're all going to be strength. No, you could get strength, night vision, absorption, slow falling. I'm also curious if you could put these inside of a smoker. No, the answer is no. You can't put them in the smoker to cook them quicker. While the rest of these cook, it says, that isn't a crafting recipe. You're right. Here's a poisonous potato block recipe to store your poisonous potatoes or build a house with it. So if we get ourselves poisonous potatoes, just regular ones, and we do it like this, you end up with a poisonous potato block, which apparently can be used for decorations. So now we're going to have to build ourselves a house. I thought it would be a better idea just to replace all of the smooth stone down here with potato blocks. <laughs> it's actually turned out all right, I'll be honest with you. It looks pretty cool, but check it out, bro. We got our own potato block. The poisonous potato block. You can also combine a poisonous potato with a wooden sword. So this goes here, poisonous potato goes here, and then we end up with a poisonous potato sword. I'm curious on if this hits something or hits someone, what it can actually do. I can confirm if you hit something like an eye golem, they end up poisoned. And you can kill them really easily, actually. Dude, they died so quickly. Here we go. Ravager. He's inflicted with pain. So it might be fair. So probably eat some of my special fake poisonous potatoes. Here we go. We got the special abilities. Listen, man. You are no match for me. So yes. Your new favorite tool that you want to make is a poisonous potato wooden sword. If you have a whole bunch of poisonous potatoes... There is, in fact, poisonous potato carpets, but you are able to make yourself armor. Unlike Java Edition, Bedrock Edition players have a whole entire set of this stuff. Let's put this on. I am now the potato king. And this... Ooh, ooh, it's got some really cool particles. I wonder if these guys get too close. Aha! They do. If they get too close, they just get completely poisoned. We're going to take on a raid, but in case you guys are curious, if you do enchant this, it becomes even stronger. I have sharpness five on this. But what I wanted to do was just like, see if I can kill all of these 
without actually needing to worry about attacking them. Yeah, the, the, the potato armor is actually really impressive. Kind of got to be careful, though, because this stuff goes through walls. So even if you're not, like, super close to the villager, they will actually end up poisoned through the glass and die. Okay, one more. A poisonous potato powered minecart. Drive this bad boy around your base at super fast speed. You need poisonous potatoes and a minecart. I've also just realized though, if you do have the armor on and other add-ons installed, it will actually do damage because they are classed as entities. Let's make ourselves a minecart. This is then gonna unlock the poisonous potato powered minecart, which I believe you could just place down. <laughs> and this thing is super fast compared to a regular minecart. And its wheels are poisonous potatoes. Dude, this is actually really powerful. I think if I get like too close to these dragons now, yeah, they will also take damage. You can do like drive by damage to any kind of mob. So that's everything that's mentioned inside of the guide. This is where the crafting table comes into play because if we go like this. We are able to make poisonous carpets. We'll make a couple of them. Poisonous potato nubs? I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, oh, you throw these. Oh, they're like little pebbles. Okay, we got the carpets. These are pure and simply just for design reasons. But I wonder if they do damage to mobs as well. Hold on, let's just take off our armor real quick. I'm curious if these do any damage. No, they don't. It would have been pretty cool. It's not just a wooden sword you can make. You can also make yourself a netherite one. Now, the thing here, though, is I have mine enchanted, which unfortunately... Oh, 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 I've just done it. Oh, the only thing is, though, if you do that, you're going to lose your enchantments. No. Well, anyway, when it comes to the attack of this one, this has 18. Wooden is 10. Stone is 12. Netherite is 18. Iron is 14. Gold is 10. And diamond is 16. On a positive, though, I was able to re-enchant my netherite sword. God, I, I, these guys are everywhere. Anyone who's messed around with that add-on, you guys have seen. They are absolutely everywhere. If you throw these at mobs, they also take damage. So they're deadly poison stones. And then I also seen there is a portrait you're able to make, which is this, which I think is just like a picture. Yes, it is. It's just a poisonous potato. I've got 41 vines. This should well be enough here. So I want to know what this is. We got like a happy little guy. I also figured out that you can make a potato table. And also potato carpets, which we've already done. So you... Oh, okay. oh, oh, check him out. Um, hello? Do you need, like, a poisonous... Po poisonous potato to tame him? Hold on. I th oh, he does sit down. I did see this in the uh, the trailers. Hold on, come on, little buddy. Follow me. Does he follow... He does. <laughs> Look how happy he is. I wonder if he, like, attacks for you. We have poisonous potato balloons. I think these are regular, like, ones that we've seen before. I think this was in all of the wool, right? Um, eventually, yeah, eventually you will glitch out and start to die. Um, probably not something... I'll... I, I actually have no idea what... Bro, it literally puts you inside of the blocks. It, be very careful with the, with the balloons. Probably something to mess around with outside. All right, let's try it again. Balloons down. So you can just sit on these and they will just take you up. I believe... Can you leash these? Like last time we were able to... You can. You can. You can leash them. Hold on. Oh, dude. Once they're going up, they just keep going. It's very similar to what was available in all of the wool. Poisonous potato couches and poisonous potato chairs. You like that, huh, little guy? <laughs> These are pretty cool. These are just, again, pure and simply cosmetic related items. There is an explosive one as well. We need gunpowder and redstone. Here is the gunpowder. I think I'll take a stack of this and I'll also take a stack of this. I should have a crafting table here. And now we can make the explosive ones. 
Although, I'm not going to do this in my base. I wonder how far you can throw these things. Oh, wow, dude. I, that popped my totem. Oh, my days. Yo, those, those things are not to be messed around with. Yeah, they do just as much explosions as the TNT add-on that we checked out. That was... Dude, that was insane. I'm going to make sure I wear my chest plate next time I mess around with this. But, um, can you, like, throw them? Because, like, dude, dude, it just blows up straight away. You do not stand any chance. So I'll be honest. I don't recommend messing around with these too much because I promise you, you will die. The last two things we have is the poisonous potato stew, which I don't know what this gives you. Uh, I'm Okay, there we go. It just gives you special abilities like the baked poisonous potato. We also have a lamp here. Apparently, you can use this wrench kind of like instantly break thing oh oh you can tap on them too oh wait did i lose them did they go straight into my inventory i don't think they did but you can actually tap on these and the stools will become chairs so i wonder if that means you can alter this too yeah it kind of becomes i guess like a bench and these become stools and then chairs and that seems to be it for this add-on. It is completely free to download and it's pretty fun to mess around with. Just be incredibly careful with the armor because that stuff is deadly. I'll see you all in the next video.